As if being invited to a housewarming party in Owasa near Kenya wasn't enough, witnessing a ceremony that happens once every 10 years was truly an experience of a lifetime. As the ritual came to an end, I headed back to the home of Mama Asha and Amos, where their newly built house was about to be blessed. Despite the rain, things began outside with some song. It was then time to cut the ribbon and head inside. Inside, a local pastor blessed their new home and, while I couldn't understand things at first, he suddenly switched to English. It was a wonderful day for all in attendance. Up to the moment that we are we pray Lord, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Later that night, the celebrations continued as the Maasai men sang some traditional songs. <laughs> then finally it was time to chow down. <clears throat> All the men sitting around eating namachoma, which is literally the bri the ribs. Namachoma, yeah? Yeah, namachoma. Yamachoma, mm -hmm. which is a big rib off of the cow that was just slaughtered outside, which is cool. All right, so I'm going to chow down. Yeah. On my third and final day, I was taken to see one of the most exciting and newest additions to the Awasaniro community, the Olaleshwa primary school. A project four years in the making, the school was completed in July 2010 through the help of an organization called Harambee for Humanity, which in Kiswahili means pulling together. The idea was hatched in 2006 when Canadian couple Kyla and Greg Dent visited Owasaniro during their safari. Members of the community came to speak to the couple about building a school in Owasaniro. They were well versed on how the school would benefit their children, especially the female children, speaking of the school delaying early marriage and as a result, early childbearing. The school would also provide a meal per day and reduce incidents of female circumcision. When planning the structure, architects Alec Ring and Carl Sarkis wanted to design the school so that it would collect rainwater allow for warm air to escape during the hot months and for warm air to remain in the class in the cooler months. They also want to position the school to capture as much natural light as possible as many classes without electricity are quite dark inside. The school was designed to reflect the Maasai culture of its community through the rounded edges and the shukas on the ceiling. The school also serves as a gathering place for community functions and the organization has a goal of building classrooms up to the 8th grade with a library, kitchen, gardens, livestock area, teacher's quarters, and eventually someday, a secondary school. Initially serving 60 kids, the school has now grown to 130 children of various ages, and even though I was there on a holiday, the ones that were in attendance decided to show me a little bit of what they've been learning. collaboration project between Awasaniro and our friends in Canada. Yes. 
<laughs> Sue McKenzie, an educator beyond the classroom, June 2007. When it was time for recess, the kids went outside to play, and as I was heading off, they stopped me, because they wanted to do one last thing. Say hello one, to Canada. Two, three. Jumbo Canada. <laughs> Jumbo Canada. Jumbo Canada. Jumbo Canada. Jumbo Canada. Asante! Seeing this beautiful school was the cherry on top of my visit to Awasaniro, but it was time for me to make some more tracks. I took one last look at the village and was on my way. A very special thanks and Asante Sana to Daniel, Leila, Mama Asha, Amos, the Olaleshwa Primary School, and the entire Awasaniro community for making me feel so truly welcome in Maasai land. I look forward to the day we meet again. Next time on Backpack with Brock. I head to Western Kenya where I receive a very warm welcome, get stuck in some torrential downpours, and visit the magnificent Special Children's School. This is the life. This is the life. Hanging out in downtown Iwasanira. This is it. This is downtown. With my newest friends, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Cold, man. And Layla. Layla. Good times. I'm dressed like a Maasai. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment, or you can subscribe by clicking on me. Right here. Thanks for watching.